Hi, I'm Allison. If you're living with herpes and stumbled upon this video in hope of finding ways to rid yourself of your debilitating herpes infection, you've come to the right place. What if I told you you no longer have to take expensive medications like Zovirex, Femvir, Valtrex on a daily basis? What if I told you that there is a way to naturally and holistically eliminate herpes in your body? What if you no longer have to worry about untimely outbreaks and the embarrassing effects it has on your social and love life? Those are some pretty big ifs, right? Perhaps so, but hear me out. Let me ask you this. If you're currently living with herpes, what would it mean to you to never have to worry about another outbreak, have a fulfilling sex life, renewed health and vigor, have more confidence and self-esteem, be happier than you ever thought possible, have more sex appeal, start living your normal life again, herpes-free? Would you quickly dismiss them as lies and continue living with herpes as well as taking antiviral medications indefinitely? Or would you rather invest a couple of minutes of your time and hear me out? Would you put a price tag on that? It's only natural to be skeptical. I know I was. You see, I was a former sufferer of herpes myself. When you're first infected by herpes, the general belief is that the herpes simplex virus type 2, HSV2, is not going anywhere. You're stuck with it for life. It's like you're stuck behind bars for the rest of your life, and there's not much you can do about it. Believe me, I know what you're going through. This virus conveniently decides to permanently settle down and nest inside your body, attaching itself to the nerves that are located at either end of your spine to make it that much tougher to be forced out of your body. If you are one of the millions of people that are currently living with herpes, then your doctor has more than likely told you time and time again that you will never be able to get rid of it, and you're doomed to a lifetime of costly antiviral medications and their dangerous side effects. What's more, those expensive and unsafe drugs only serve to contain the symptoms while practically ignoring the root cause of the herpes itself. Doctors have basically led you to believe that herpes is going to own your body for the rest of your life, and there's nothing that you can do about it. Even though it may seem as if this is factual, it can also be up for debate. I mean, what's the point of going to the doctor's office if they don't believe they can cure you in the first place? Let alone with a natural, safe, and inexpensive cure. I too was faced with the no-cure argument years ago, shortly after my initial infection. It was the day my faith in conventional medicine fell apart. I simply refused to accept that fact, and that started me on a mission of getting real answers. Since then, I've been an avid natural researcher of homopathic remedies and herbal medicine for years. I've always used natural remedies as opposed to traditional medical treatments whenever possible. While many mainstream doctors still scoff at the idea that homopathic natural healing could actually work, my years of research finally gave me the answers I needed to eliminate herpes for good. After stumbling and applying this life-changing discovery, my herpes has not reappeared once, something that those expensive and unsafe conventional treatments failed to do. Since I know what it's like to suffer from the ordeal, allow me to share my life-changing discovery with you and all the people unfortunate enough to suffer under the same condition as you and I. Allow me to help you. My name is Allison Freeman, and this is my story. I am not, nor have I ever been, a sexually promiscuous person. I've been divorced for three years after I found out that my ex was involved in an extramarital affair. The worst part? He left me with more than just a broken heart. I was diagnosed with type 2 herpes. I was stunned, angry, emotional, and plain devastated. Of course, I have heard of it before, but I never thought in a million years that I would ever be exposed to something like that. I had small cold sores in the past, 
very rarely, so technically I already had type 1 herpes. But now I was scared. I was a newly single woman, getting over a rough patch in my life, as it was, and now this? Emotionally, it took what felt like forever to accept that I actually had genital herpes. I knew there was no cure, and that there was little I could do to cope with it. It made me feel helpless. If you have herpes, you might relate. But here I was, finally starting to work up the nerve to date again and get on with my life, only to find out I had herpes. Needless to say, I wasn't too eager to start meeting new people after hearing that. I was first prescribed with acyclovir, and for a while it worked. But it wasn't long before I started noticing that apart from the sores, acyclovir also made me lose hair. A lot of it. I freaked out and frantically asked my doctor about it, and he confirmed that this was just one of the many side effects of acyclovir, heavy hair loss. Since I didn't want to lose more hair, I begged my doctor to prescribe me something else. He then put me on Valtrex, but it too apparently had its side effects. It made me experience extreme headaches, nausea, and vomiting. I couldn't focus on anything. The side effects were just too severe. It made me feel really sick. I had to stop taking them, as I simply couldn't deal with the side effects. And once I stopped taking them, naturally the sores came back with a vengeance. My life is over, I thought to myself. After suffering for what seemed like an eternity, I finally decided to take matters into my own hands. I started my personal mission of getting real answers and ultimately healing. I eventually took a distance education course. I had been previously interested in taking online related to homopathy. Three months into my course, I was required to complete an assignment on influential doctors in alternative systems of medicine. Throughout my research, I decided to write about a two-time Nobel Prize winning doctor who is known for discovering that viruses can only thrive in low oxygenated bodies. It turned out that this Nobel laureate was disappointed with major pharmaceutical companies. Apparently, those big pharmaceutical companies aren't really interested in a cure. They haven't been working all this time to find a cure, but to simply push their overpriced and inefficient drugs to the general masses. They prey on our sickness, and that's the reason why this herpes eradication method hasn't been known to the general public, despite being decades old. In the U.S., for example, they spend $61,000 on each doctor to get them to push their drugs. And this is common everywhere. And it's common knowledge that big companies would do everything in their power to keep this type of information from becoming widespread. It would threaten their precious trillion-dollar industry simply because the treatment to naturally and holistically eradicate herpes is inexpensive and cannot be patented. Something I discovered entirely by accident. Something that was purely astounding, and nobody ever told us. Do today's doctors know about this? Was the government hiding this from us so they would continue to profit from the millions and trillions of dollars profited by people just like me who are suffering from so-called non-curable viruses that were preventing them from leading normal lives? After several weeks of intense research, I had become my own doctor in every meaning of the word. Until now, I have never believed that there was anything that would ever take away my herpes. I have been an herbalist studying natural medicine for almost my entire adult life, and although I have seen some wonderful results using herbal remedies, nothing I have ever seen has ever or will ever compare to this miracle substance used that is dirt cheap to completely eliminate herpes. So after learning about how this herpes treatment worked, I decided to administer this amazing one-minute therapy on myself. Within one week, my herpes sores were gone. Starting to see the big picture here? We now live in an age where we are exposed to more human-made toxins and chemicals than ever before. 
Oftentimes, waging chemical warfare in our bodies to fight infection is not the best solution. That's exactly the reason why the Nobel laureate started to research natural treatments in the first place. He knew that herpes isn't a new sickness. Our ancestors have been treating and curing herpes since 2,000 years ago. In addition, there are other reasons why we should think twice before taking or consuming conventional or mainstream medicine. As previously mentioned, mainstream medicines were never designed to cure you. They were meant to only mask and hide the signs of the disease, to permanently entrap us in the never-ending cycle of outbreaks and treatments. But believe it or not, those herpes sores serve a role. They are indicators that there's something wrong with your body. And hiding or masking the signs instead of addressing the root cause is never a good idea. The antiviral drugs used in conventional treatments function as suppressive agents, meaning they undermine your health. It can even cause other diseases to flourish inside your body because the suppressive drugs also suppress your immune system, thus leaving the door wide open for other infections. For me, this is unacceptable. I was determined to find a safer way which addresses the root cause. Months into my research, I made an astonishing discovery. As mentioned previously, the herpes virus isn't a recent phenomenon. It's been known for more than 2,000 years, and our ancestors had treated and cured it countless times before. So why haven't I heard about it before then, I hear you ask? Well, a company that's now part of a 60 billion pharmaceutical giant, as well as an extended field study in Hungary, both proved it's effective at killing the herpes virus. They haven't really given a reason why they never released it on the market, and let me tell you why that's the cause. The natural substances utilized in the one-minute herpes cure program cost much, much less than a cyclovir, and they cannot be patented. A similar study occurred in the early 90s. The New York University Medical Center proved the efficiency of another substance against herpes. Again, the cost of the substance is only a fraction of acyclovir, and again, they cannot be patented. Naturally, big pharmaceutical companies decided to ignore it. They only have one objective, make money by selling overpriced and ineffective drugs. A complete holistic cure was never their intention, because they can't put a patent on it. They only want to profit from our sickness. That's the honest-to-God truth. Fortunately, you don't have to endure